Hi, this is Bob Wetterman from BEST. Today we're going to be talking about crimp height testing. Per Clause 19.7.1 of the IPC A620, which is the requirements and acceptance for cable and wire harnesses, crimp height is required to be measured for Class 1 or Class 2 product if pull force testing is not performed. And you can do that every setup, you can do it every shift, you can do it so many times per week, or with a gap between testing periods, so many work days. And what crimp height testing does is it verifies that the crimp has been done properly. This is trip typically drawn directly from the manufacturer of the crimp's uh, specifications. And it's a specific range um, that you're trying to hit based on the wire gauge and the type of crimp that you're using. You're also gonna to have to use the crimp height, which is essentially a micrometer, the specialized micrometer to measure the crimp height, where the rolled flange edges go against the flat side of the micrometer, the specialized micrometer, and then the pointed end on the other side of the crimp. And don't forget to be sure to include this micrometer, this crimp height micrometer, the specialized tool into your quality system to make sure it's calibrated. This has been Bob Wetterman from Best talking to you about crimp height testing.